Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is my favourite eye brushes of all time. So I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite crease brushes, my favourite lid brushes, my favourite brow bone highlight brush and all sorts of different brushes that I'm going to share with you today. I think most of my brushes today are by Morphe but I do have some by e.l.f., some by Real Techniques, some by Avon, some by Sigma, some by Zoeva. So, but they are mainly Morphe. But yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I'm just going to start with random, whatever I pick up, I'm just going to talk about. So, this one right here, this is an Avon brush. Can you even see it? And it is an eyeliner brush. This has the perfect angled tip. Really, really fine, thin. Perfect to do your eyeliner with. And the bristles are super soft but they're also quite dense, so that makes it super, super easy to just get a perfect winged eyeliner in when you dip it into your gel um, liners. I absolutely love this brush, and this was probably like five pounds, so it's extremely inexpensive, and I love this brush. Next brush is this one. This is the pencil brush. I think it's called the Smudge Brush by e.l.f., and it's from their Beautifully Precise collection. I love this brush. I love to use this to smudge out eyeshadow onto my lower lash line. It has the perfect tip at the top and it's really small but it's also dense enough to pack on your eyeshadow right really really close to your lower lash line. I absolutely love this brush and this was also really inexpensive. I think this was like six pounds um, and it's really really effective actually. It's so small and precise but it does a great job of packing and smudging out your lower lash line eyeshadow. So I love this one. Sticking with the small brushes <laughs> at the moment, I love this brush right here. This one is by Real Techniques and it's the Accent Brush. I love this one and I love to use this one to smudge out the eyeliner above my eyes. So if I don't want to use a cream eyeliner, I will use powder, I'll use a black eyeshadow and I like to smoke that out really close to the lash line and this is a perfect job of doing that. Super precise, super thin, and I love this brush. And this was also really inexpensive. I think it's from the Shader Eye Brush set, um, which is really, really, really good. So I love this brush for that. Next up we have an e.l.f. brush. Now this is a flat shader brush. I use this to pack glittery, sparkly eyeshadows onto the lid, and I also use this to highlight under my brow bone and my inner corners. This brush Oh my goodness me, I absolutely adore this brush. I use it without fail. Almost every single eyeshadow look that I use, I use this brush. I love it to bits. It has super soft bristles that is not too dense, but it's not too sparse either. And I think this was like six pounds as well. Really, really inexpensive. And I love this one. It just does a really good job of packing the eyeshadow onto the lid. And it's the perfect shape. To highlight into the brow bone as well. I love this one. Okay, so let's move on to brushes that I use through my crease. So I like a lot of brushes <laughs> to use for my crease. So this is probably the one that I loved from the start. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. This is very fat and it's quite dense, I would say, but it's also really fluffy. Now, I've always used this one to pack the shadow through my crease. Um, but it's quite thick, but I do love this if you want a messy all over the place blended but blended um, Eyeshadow look then this is the perfect one for you and it's also really inexpensive. This is part of a set um, Which is really affordable. I definitely recommend this brush especially for beginners This will be perfect for you super easy to blend out the eyeshadow and I love this brush It's definitely one of my favorite crease brushes Okay, then another favourite crease brush is this one by Morphe. And this is the R37 brush. I hope you can see it. I It's a little bit dirty at the minute, I apologise. But maybe if I hold it next to my hair, you'll see it better. Is that better? But I love this brush for precise into the crease. So this has kind of like a fine point at the top, a fine tip. And this is absolutely perfect for getting right into the crease. I absolutely love this brush. Oh, it is amazing. But I think this was like maybe eight pounds. I got it from the Beauty Bay website. I can't really remember how much, but I'm gonna guess at around eight pounds. I love this brush. The bristles are extremely soft. One of the softest brushes I've ever used in my life. 
I absolutely love this one. This is definitely perfect for beginners as well because it's so easy to blend everything out. I love this brush. Another crease brush is this one by Morphe and it's E27. Um, another one, this is a little bit fatter I would say than the other one. Um, it has more of a fluffy top whereas the other one came to a point. This has a fluffy top, really really easy to blend everything out. Um, perfect for the crease but also to blend away any eyeshadow to make sure there's no harsh lines. I love this brush, it was also about £8 I would say. Perfect for the crease and just an all round good brush I would say. Now another crease brush but this is for more of a precise deep into the crease brush is this one by Zoeva and it's the 229 eye finish brush. Now this one is obviously a lot smaller and a lot more precise so I would use this just to get the colour right into the crease so it's not so blended this one isn't. It's for more of a precise look so if you want a sharper crease look this is perfect and I think this was about £10 possibly. Um, I love Zoeva brushes, they're really nice and this one is super soft as well so it won't be harsh on your eye or anything. I love this one for a really precise crease. And we're down to our final two brushes. Now this next one I use for packing a darker colour onto the outer corners of my eye and this is the Morphe M412 brush. This is like a tulip shape. So I use this to pack a darker colour on the outer corners and blend it up and it's super super soft and it has a nice tip as well to do perfect blending through into the crease and blending on the outer corners. This is perfect for packing on shadow as well. This could be used as an all rounder to be honest. I use this to pack it onto the outer corners but this could definitely be used as a crease brush because it goes to a fine tip and then blend it out so it would be perfect for blending into the crease as well. So I would say this is kind of like a multitask brush. And this is also about £8, but I love using this for the outer corners specifically. And then the final brush is this bad boy here. This is the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. I'm sure you've heard of this brush. Everybody uses this brush. I think this was about £10 to £12. I really have no idea, but I'm guessing. And this is a very tall, fluffy blending brush. I would use this to blend away with no product on, to blend away any eyeshadow harsh lines, or I use this to blend through into my crease. I absolutely love this brush. It is one of the softest brushes that I have. I think it's softer than Morphe, probably because it's better quality because it's more expensive. But I absolutely love this brush. This is a definite. If you don't have this brush in your collection, I would say to go and get it. I absolutely adore this brush for the crease and for blending out any eyeshadow. It just makes it so effortless. This is like the perfect brush for beginners and anybody really. It just makes your eyeshadow so effortless to apply. So I love this one. So yeah, that completes this video. That was my favorite eyeshadow brushes, my favorite eye brushes. Um, I think there was like 10 in total. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. I hope it was helpful to you as well. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already so you can see my next video. And leave a comment down below of any video requests you'd like me to do in the future. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!